Hello people of BookTube, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing like a video idea I had a little while ago where basically I'm going to go into my email inbox and we're going to have a little look at some of the stuff I get sent. There's a lot from various different publicists and whatnot. I guess without further ado, let's get started. So, cut to the screen capture. So, we'll start off with this new reverse auction app, Honcho, prepares for launch. I don't write about that. Future of healthcare, that's a thing for a client. Cultural epidemic of potent bozo benzo tranquilizer inspires book of deep profound urban poetry. I mean that sounds kind of interesting but also most poetry that I get sent turns out to be terrible so we'll get rid of that. What we got here? I will find you. Poignant novel hailed simply brilliant explores Britain's role in horrific child migration. Don't like kids. So screw them. This is uh so I'm going to Althorpe Literary Festival on <laughs> on Saturday the 6th of October. All right. So that's going to be good. I'm going to go and see Charles Spencer. That's Princess Diana's brother. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably vlog that. That's cool. That is, I will reply to that one later. Buddy read emails. Review request. Hello, my name is Thomas McRae and I'd love to mail you a copy of my short fiction novels called Pimp in the Pulpit 1 and 2. <laughs> no, I think I'm alright. I don't want pimp in the pulpit. You see, I get offered so much stuff. Like, we're still on... This is all from today. Alright, yesterday. See, this is kind of one of the annoying things as well, is that actually in my spam, it is mostly just spam. So I don't... Here's another book thing. My encounter with the great train robbery. 55 years later, man who discovered robber's secret hideout releases memoir. Yeah, they... they the great train robbers, they didn't they get caught because they played Monopoly. With real money. The book was originally written in the early 1970s when his incident of the memory was fresh and his notes were somewhat new. However, due to the sheer trauma of the threats against him, he decided not to invite further publicity. Thankfully, that has now all changed. I don't know, I might actually read that. We'll see. He wants me to review this forthcoming book, Tomorrow's World. The future may be bright, but it's hilarious. It's from yesterday. Was it yesterday? Or last week? I don't know. Fast-paced thriller by Naval Officer. Evil Winds by Michael Shusko. I mean, that does sound cool. He's a naval intelligence officer and physician who is fluent in Arabic and has worked in some of the most dangerous areas of the world. It's his third novel, so that's always good. Still probably not going to read it. Ex-Met Cops tongue-in-cheek comedy crime novel. You can tell quite a lot as well about uh, about the books from like their covers and stuff. His blog is required, so actually they send you stuff for potential reviews. That's the future of healthcare down there. We may have listed that. But every now and then I see books through there. Ebook deals, another review request. Oh no, that's the same one. It's hard to keep up with them all. Another review request. Tiny poems for gentle hearts. No, we're all right. All right, let's cut. Let's cut out of the email inbox. You get the point now. I get lots of emails. It's hard to keep up with them and blah blah blah. Um, I guess I'll talk a little bit about why that happens. It's because I'm on some distribution lists for like press releases and stuff and like journalistic databases. It's mostly through my book blog as opposed to through my booktube channel, but if you do get a chance, you know, you can, if you find places, just Google like, you know, book reviewer database or whatever, and make sure you're listed, then that's how a lot of these opportunities come about. I never go out and do like, physically, specifically approach people asking for ARCs or whatever, it's just, I'm not really that interested in whatever's coming out, you know? But um, a lot of people do. But for me, again, I get so many emails coming through offering me books, you know, at least a couple dozen a week, I would say. And um, also, I mean, I've got my own TBR and I've got a list of like a thousand odd books that I want to buy and read eventually. I want to read every every Agatha Christie novel, so I don't have time for all of these, you know. So I'm not being harsh when I turn down most of them. I just I don't have the capacity, you know. I'm also really bad with it. I just don't email people back unless I think that we can work together. Just because, again, I get so many. I haven't checked my emails for like two days and I have, I don't know, a couple hundred emails to go through. So I've got that to look forward to. But anyway, that is just a quick little look inside my inbox and a little bit of a talk, I guess, about my, uh, you know, how I get sent books for review. I know a lot of people get really excited about it. It seems as though, um, I don't know... It doesn't happen as much on booktube for some reason, even though some booktubers have like bigger reach than some of the bloggers that I've seen, you know, worked with. So um, I'm sure that will change over time. But equally as well, most most of the books that I have accepted for review, I would say 
only like maybe 15 to 20 percent of them get above a four like a four star or above most of them at best they're like three and a half out of five so they're all right but you know they're not they're not always amazing and part of that is because i guess because you don't you don't you don't get to pick them you know they just fall into your lap also though i'm really bad with i'll get stuff sent to me and then never actually get around to reading it as well so i need to work on that but yeah, there we go. Anyway, that was a little bit of a chat about books and stuff. Let me know in the comments if you receive books for review and stuff. Um, hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.